So the two bigger ones here in the hut are sisters. They're actually exactly three weeks apart. That's their mom. They are helping their mom take care of all their little brothers and sisters. Even the one that is not even four weeks old yet, which is not this one here. She's, she's in there now with them. She's not even four weeks old yet. She's not breeding age, but she's helping take care of them. That just goes to show you how caring and close-knit mice are. They have an innate instinct to just take care of babies. Now you'll get that one odd mouse that might um, attack and kill babies on site, but uh, usually that's a male and he's not sure if those are his babies. And sometimes females will if they are nervous and they don't really know what to do. Um, inexperience is the reason most of the time why female mice kill babies. And some female mice are honestly just really, really aggressive. Um, so it, it's hit or miss, but most mice just, even if it's not their baby, they just want to take care of it and love it. But that's mama right down there. And as you see, some of her babies are going to be brown and a majority of them are actually going to be black. I've got one of her other daughters right here um, who was from her second litter um, and she's black as you can see but I'm trying to get her bred uh, because she's just very very sweet in nature and I kind of want one of her babies but um, these are pet mice in here and then I have breeders in here She's an ex-breeder. She was not supposed to have another litter of babies, but I did not separate her in time. I waited a whole entire day after she gave birth so as not to stress her out. And then she popped out 16 babies, but there's only 10 in there right now. I had to call um, six of them. Uh, two of them were peanut mice, uh, which means they were born underdeveloped and they never would have made it uh, to even weaning age. Um, and the other four, you know, I just, because um, they only have 10 teats, 10 nipples, so they can only properly care for 10 babies. And her daughters have never been bred, so they don't produce milk. They won't produce milk. Um, even though it looks like she's nursing them, they don't understand that, you know, she's not making milk. But she's laying there to keep them warm and keep them company. Hi, Chloe. That was my dog. And, um... They're, they're very, very caring little animals. So yes, um, I, I do have breeders because I do have a snake and I'm breeding them for snake food. <laughs> She's like, no, stop looking at my babies. But yes, these are pets. Um, I'm keeping one male here because I, I don't have a breeding male I mean, I have a breeding male right now, but he needs to be retired because he's at almost at that age. And, um, which is about a year old, is when you stop breeding males. And you stop breeding females at about six months old or after they've had six litters, whichever comes first. Um, so yes. So these I'll probably take up to the pet store because my local pet store has had problems with a mouse shortage. So, um, unfortunately, they're either going to be pets or food. That's a circle of life. Um, I have mice for both. Um, I, I do understand that they are very cute little animals, but my snake has to eat as well. 
but these in here, they are pets. They will never be food. They have a good life. They get the, the best treats and love. And I take care of my breeders as well, but they don't get as special treatment as my pets do, so. That's a little bit about mice. <laughs> Thanks for letting me ramble. Oh no, we've got one trying to break out. He's like, I have to find mom. The others are like, we're gonna go with you. She's like, get back in here. You're deaf, blind, and naked. See, they're in no shape for exploring, huh? They're only about, I think like five or six days old. I'm thinking about just five days old. When they're a week old, they'll start to get like fur. But right now they, they have mild peach fuzz at best. <laughs> 